I would like to start today with an update on the progress of COVID-19 immunization in British Columbia. As of today, 74% of adults, so people over 18 years of age, have received their first dose of COVID-19 vaccine, and 72% of all eligible British Columbians, so everyone over 12, has received their first dose of vaccine. This includes 39% of youth, 12 to 17, who have received a single dose of COVID-19 vaccine. As of today, again, 3,635,795 doses of all one of the three COVID-19 vaccines have been administered to people in British Columbia. Of these, 314,246 are second doses. Today, people who received an AstraZeneca vaccine as their first dose will start to receive invitations for their second dose of that vaccine. As you know, the period between doses has been shortened to eight weeks, which means that many people will be able to book their second dose earlier than originally anticipated. British Columbians are doing very well with immunization against COVID-19, and the results are very encouraging. We are now at step one of the restart plan, and we're continuing to follow important indicators of the effect of COVID-19 on our communities. So what are those indicators telling us? Over the weekend, 481 individuals in BC were diagnosed with COVID-19, 218 from June 4th to the 5th, 131 from the 5th to the 6th, and 133 from the 6th to today. By health authority, that's 70 diagnoses in Vancouver Coastal Health, 285 in Fraser Health, nine on Vancouver Island, 101 in Interior Health, and 15 in Northern Health over the three days of the weekend. We now have had 141,663 British Columbians ever diagnosed with COVID-19. At the moment, 2,102 of those individuals are considered to be active cases. As of today, there are 199 people still remaining in hospital. 63 of those are in critical care and 38 are requiring mechanical ventilation today. Everyone else has recovered. Sadly, 12 people have died as a result of COVID-19 over the past three days. My condolences to all those who have lost loved ones. Since the last report, two new outbreaks were declared, one at Kelowna General Hospital in Interior Health and one at Glenwood Seniors Community in Fraser Health. The outbreak at Sunrise Poultry has been declared over since our last report. These negative outcomes, these losses, are an important reminder of what we have to gain. For the past 16 months, all of us, public health teams, frontline workers, frontline healthcare workers, and all of you have been thinking about preventing negative outcomes, preventing losses. We've been focused on preventing serious illness, hospitalizations, and deaths. Orders and restrictions are part of our daily lives. But now, we are in a much better position as a province and we can start to focus on all there is to be gained through immunization, and there's so much. If we keep going, we can get back to the things that sustain us, back to our communities, back to work, back to the meaningful relationships in our lives. And as we move forward, our public health monitoring and management will also change, and I'd like to share some of those details with you so that we can gain a shared understanding of what those changes are and why they're happening. As cases continue to decline, daily fluctuations, especially in cases, will be less and less meaningful. Rather, seven-day averages and long-term trends are going to be better indicators of our progress. From a public health perspective, as long as we continue on this trajectory, we will be aiming to shift our approach from pandemic emergency response to a sustainable public health management. This approach is actually similar to how we prevent and control other communicable diseases. In BC, strong local public health teams of public health nurses, environmental health officers under the leadership of medical health officers monitor, prevent, and control communicable diseases every day. Indeed, normally they do it so well um, that we rarely hear about them in the news. What we can look forward to in an immunized population is that COVID-19 will become one of these communicable diseases the one that is a, a disease that is effectively and ex expertly managed by public health and the healthcare system. It also means public health teams can return to some of the other equally important work that keep us well, 
to prevent overdoses, to prevent injuries, and to reduce health inequities in our population. We are on a good path to get back to work, to school, to university, to seeing friends, to traveling, resuming those connections that are so important to all of us. But to get there, please register and ensure you are fully vaccinated so we can all put this pandemic behind us. Thank you for your time.